it's Joe Farrell Geek Toolkit, and today we're going to talk about this Nova Stella Smart Floodlight. And I'll do some demos in a bit, and we'll go into the software. But first, I just want to start with the hardware and talk a little bit about Nova Stella as a company. Nova Stella started out in about 2017, and they are taking over the Smart Floodlight market, which I didn't even know was a market. But now that I have these, I get it. I wasn't, you know, when they offered these, I kind of looked at the videos on their website and I was like, wow, that looks really beautiful. I didn't really think about outdoor lighting as a smart light other than like strip lighting. But floodlights can really change the dynamics of your entire landscaping. And these are smart floodlights, which means that they can change different colors and they're also controllable. Now this is the Blink series, and this is the 25 watt. This comes in a two pack for $50. They also have a four pack, and then they have a four pack with this hub here, which is a Bluetooth hub. The Blink series is Bluetooth. It has a nice uh, antenna on it, which is nice. You know, a lot of Bluetooth devices don't have an external antenna. This is really important for outdoor use. It gives it about an 80 foot range basically off of this antenna, but then we'll talk about this hub and how that extends it. Now the hub is optional unless you buy it in the pack. The hub's an additional, I think $20. I'll get you prices and I'll get you links in the bottom. I'll talk about the hub in a second. Let's just talk about this product here. On this product, you've got an RGB CW light. Now I've talked a bit about that in my lighting tutorial, but just to go over it here to, for completeness, a RGB CW means that you've got not only red, green, and blue, but you've also got two colors of white in here. And what that allows you to do is do uh, more of a, like a warm white, which is more of a yellowish, or you can do the cool white, which is more of the blue white. That means that your color choices on this are gonna be a lot sharper than just an RGB bulb. If you ever had an RGB bulb and you turn it to like a yellow or green, it looks awful. Having a CW is a big deal. The other reason I mention that is when you look at other alternative bulbs to the Nova Stellas, a lot of them don't have the CW part and that really is gonna change the quality of the light and the quality of the color that you get out of these. And we'll, when we get into the software, you'll see those settings and get a, a sense of what you can do with that. They're IP66 rated. The first six is the dust, basically dust intrusion. So that means that they're dust proof. The second six means that they can handle streams of water coming at them. I've had mine outside in the Washington uh, winter here. They've been rained on almost every day and they're doing fine. IP66, they should be fine with streams of water hitting them even. They will not handle submersion though. So you don't want to put them in a place that gets puddly. The base here has mounting points on it. You can take these off using on the sides here and then mount this. That is something that's important to know. If you're gonna get something like these, they don't come with a mounting base plate. So what you would do is you'd mount this to a piece of wood. If you wanna stabilize it, you could you know, go like this and mount it off to a tree or a wall. You can screw it into all sorts of different things, but you're gonna have to screw it into something. So keep that in mind when you pick them up that you might need a piece of wood or something to mount it to, especially if you're you know, thinking like on the ground and then tilt it up. They are tiltable uh, basically as, as far as you would expect. The cable is basically gonna come off the bottom here and it's quite a good distance. It doesn't kink the cable, you know, to run it and have cable management. The cable is a five foot cable. It's nice and thick. Let's talk about the light quality on this. This goes from 2700 to 6500K, uh, which is a nice good variance. This will get you a lot of different whites. And then also the colors, you can use that white to intensify the colors or uh, lower the intensity, which is really cool. This is a 25 watt version. It comes in a two pack. There's also a 50 watt version of the Blink. Now the Blink is the Bluetooth. If you all prefer Wi-Fi, they also have the Blaze and then they also have Blooms, which are Wi-Fi. And the Blooms actually have a 20, 60 and 100 watt available. It just depends on what you wanna do for connectivity. This is an added accessory they sent to me. This is a hub. It's very simple. It's got a reset button and a five volt. Now what's nice about this is this is a Bluetooth hub, acts as a repeater, also acts as a bridge to bridge it to your Wi-Fi. This enables functionality if you want to work with an Amazon smart speaker or a Google smart speaker, you would use this device. Otherwise, what you're doing is controlling this directly from a phone, Bluetooth to Bluetooth. With this, this actually puts it on your Wi-Fi network so you can control it away from home. They did something really cool with this. They made a Bluetooth mesh system. That means that if you transmit from a phone directly to say this device, it will transmit to the other ones in your yard to create a mesh and a much stronger signal. With the Bluetooth Wi-Fi repeater, you can actually have this handle the mesh, sending it out to this device, and then this device will repeat throughout the yard. It's just a really cool way to 
have it be Bluetooth, but not have a lot of limitations of Bluetooth, such as range. One other quick note is when you turn these on, you have to give them a second to get to full brightness. It takes about a, sec a full second to get to 90% brightness, and then they brighten up a little bit more than that. So when you first turn them on, the initial color you see, it takes a second to dial them in. So if you're doing any tuning, you're going to want to wait a, a second or two before you actually start doing anything. Now we're going to switch over to the phone app, and I'll give you a walkthrough of installing that, and then we'll talk about settings and do the really cool demos. So we're going to install the Smart Life Smart Home app. This application will allow us to pair things, basically pair the floodlights. You can also pair other devices that use the Tuya backend. I've already got a login, so I'm going to log in real quick here. Okay, and now we've got devices that have already got paired in here, but we're going to talk about how to get these floodlights in. Okay, so I've got a camera set up where I can talk about pairing and demo it. I've got the light up here. I've got a power strip here. This is going to make it easier to get into pairing mode going off and on. Now, remember, this is a Bluetooth-based pairing, but you so you have to make sure Bluetooth is on on your app, but you can actually do it from the Smart Home app. So let's go here. We'll, let's see. We're going to go to Home. We're going to click the plus sign to say Add. We're going to say Add a Device. And then we're going to click on Lighting, and we'll click on Light Source uh, Bluetooth. Now, we're going to go into pairing mode, and this is the biggest issue I've had with any of these systems for pairing. Okay, to get into pairing mode, you're gonna to wanna to turn it off. I, I normally count to two, so I go off, on, off, on. So it's like this, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Now you can see, instead of turning on green where I had it, it's actually flashing white. It's almost, it's like a breathing, it's a pulse. And so now here, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna confirm that it's flashing and say next. And there it is, Smart Floodlight. So I'm gonna click on that and we'll just click plus. And you'll see a progress meter as it pairs. Now you wanna to wanna to keep your device next to the light. Don't walk away or anything here during this pairing, even though it takes a minute. If you're doing it with a phone, make sure you set your phone down. So I saw the floodlight flash here and now I click next. It says it's paired, I'm gonna name it. And now we're done with that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is keep the light a little bit off camera and I'll go through the different things here for the UI and then we'll go outside and I'll demo it there. But this just shows you, you can change the color temperature. So this is more of a blue light and this is more of a yellow light. You can also dim, dim the light, which is super handy right now. So it's not blasting in my face, there we go. Colors, very, very simple color wheel. And here you've got a brightness and an intensity. So you can change those and get, you know, if you're on like a blue, you can actually change the blue from a lighter blue to a darker blue. Now scenes, this is interesting. It took me a second to understand what they're doing here. They've got scenes built in, but you can edit any of the scenes. So you can click on edit and you can actually see what it's doing here. So if I click edit here, you can see it's going from red to green to blue and so on. And I can add more colors. I can also remove colors. So if I click on this, I can change what this color is or I can just start deleting them, which is really useful. So maybe I want to do a Christmas thing where it goes from red to green. Uh, and then maybe I want to do a purple for fun and we'll go back to green and we'll go back to red. So there I've built basically in, in a, just a couple seconds here, something simple. And now I have, I've got a scene and that could be for any holiday. I could do a Halloween scene that's like really cool oranges and reds or something crazy. You can change your, your color intensity and your colors here. You've got a nice wheel or you could do different colors, your different white intensities. One other thing about this UI here is you actually have a flash speed. So I can go really slow or I can go really fast in almost like a party mode. Something else we can do is we can click on music. Now music is actually gonna be based off of music playing on this tablet. If I'm playing something on the tablet itself, it will react and do random lights based on amplitudes of music. Uh, that I think is really cool if you have a, a couple of these paired together. So we'll talk about that in a second. Down here, you've got a timer. You can actually, you know, set how many minutes you want the timer to run for. You can turn the timer on and off. You can also do this here. Now, this is really, really nice. This is the power on behavior. The power on behavior can turn on to initial mode, or you can actually have a memory. The memory means that if you set your colors to red, the power turns off, it turns back on, they'll come back red, which is uh, really nice. Or you can say, instead of the last thing, go to a certain preset every single time you turn on. That's really nice because maybe you want it to turn off and you want it to turn on green, but the last thing you set it to is blue. You've got a way to actually go back and have them consistently behave the way you want them to. I think that's one of the coolest features on here that I hadn't seen on some of the other lights I dealt with is the ability to have that memory. 
Okay, so that's a walkthrough of the UI and the light. Really the fun of this is gonna be going outside and getting this up and running. So let's do that next. So this is my front yard right now. And this is four of the Nova Stella floodlights going uh, through a pattern. And it uh, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. You know, I looked at the pictures on their site and I wasn't sure if they would be able to deliver on that, but this is a pretty crazy thing to be able to do, especially during the holidays, because it's uh, it's different than just the holiday lights, right? I've got those going too, but I can actually have reds and greens across my uh, house, and I can use this for other holiday stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go through the colors on this. This is kind of like a split pea green, so I'll go more yellowish. Now we're going into our reds. You can see the red off of a light background. There's the purples. And then we'll go over to the blues and up to more of a white. So this is 25 watts. They make a 50 watt and they make a 100 watt uh, Wi-Fi version. But as you can see, even this, if you have a good reflective surface, it comes off quite well. Now I'm going to show you the, the brightness. So if I turn the brightness down, this is what, how that affects it here. So this is a much dimmer. Uh, we're on purple now and then we'll go up to halfway. And then we'll go all the way full brightness. And now I'm going to show you the intensity to show you the, this is really where you get a lot of the different colors. So these are different purples. Should have a light, very light lavender. And it's going to add more and more blue in. We'll do the same with red. See how that works. There's red. I don't expect this to be, oh, it's almost white. It's basically almost fading out the color there. We're going to add more and more red to it. So you've got different intensities of these colors, which is really, really nice. There's the blue and then the lighter blue. It's going to get more white. We'll do one more. We'll do the green. Actually, it's kind of a green yellow. Let's see if we can get. I talked up the green, but yeah, they don't have like a really deep green coming off of this right now. All right, this is the sound activated setup and it's actually reacting to my voice right now. You know, if you're doing holiday music or basically any kind of decoration where you're doing a party or something, you want it to be reactive, this is a really cool way to go. I mean, this is, you know, you'd have to have your phone or tablet, something with a mic next to it. It doesn't work on a, a computer, PC, or a Mac or anything. You have to have a mobile device. But if you have that there and you have your music going, you could have the lights react to it, and that's kind of cool. Uh, could get a little obnoxious, so I'm going to get this turned off, but I wanted to give a demo of what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was like just in depth enough to really get a feel for the product. The, uh, my, final, my final say on this is I love it. I love outdoor lighting. I wanna get more, I wanna get them in my backyard now. I've been using uh, solar floodlights and after going to these, I'm like, no, this is the way to go. My solar floodlights are typically dead after about four hours, especially in the winter where they're not getting as much sun. These wired ones are just so much brighter and the smart control, being able to turn them on and off and then change colors is so cool. So I like it. I don't know if my neighbors will. I don't know if the HOA will, but I love them. There are some things I want to mention though that you should know about this product. One is you're going to want to think about where you're going to mount it. It doesn't have that board or something to mount under it. It comes with a really nice mounting holes and that's it. No screws, no board. I get it from the company's perspective. They don't know how you're gonna mount it. Maybe you're gonna mount it to a fence post, which would be a really nice way to do it. Maybe you're gonna mount it to a tree or something to you know, push it up higher. Maybe you're gonna mount it towards a tree, whatever. Uh, so they just didn't try to solve that for you. I think that also brings their price down, which is one of the good things about this product is $60 for two, having them work right off the bat, I think is really, really good. Now, the other critique on the product that I wanna mention is again, more of a, a customer info thing that you should know about this product. The $20 hub, in my opinion, is a must. I, you know, you can control them with a, a mobile device and that's okay, that's cool. Uh, but to me, really the hub is the game changer. When they go from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi and then you can actually have scheduled things and have the cloud control them, I think that's really cool. Or if you're gonna plug them into a local system like Home Assistant, then you're gonna wanna have that hub to bridge it. Now that is a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi hub. I'm not clear on if you have to have their particular one or not. They sent me theirs and it's about $20 and it's worked really well so far with their app. And then finally, the last thing I wanna say is the software itself, if you're not in a home automation and you just wanna get lights that work, 
the software is very, very powerful. You can do a lot of really cool logic and the ecosystem is huge for the Tuya based devices. They don't have to be from the same company to interact. And that means if you get like a light switch that works with Tuya and you walk up to the light switch and hit power on, you can have that light switch then turn on these floodlights. So if you don't want to have it be timer based or if you want to have a manual override control, that ecosystem starts plugging in very, very well. You could also do things like maybe with camera motion, have it turn on the lights and stuff like that. So um, that being in that ecosystem, I think is a plus, but it is something to be aware of. Again, you, when I do my reviews, I don't know what your situation is for what you care about. So I try to do a review to tell you the most important parts to let you decide. I think it's really weird when a reviewer says, uh, yeah, these are good products. You should get them. Uh, to me, that's how do they know? They don't know me. They don't know, you know what I need. So hopefully I've covered that in this video. If I have it, please put something in the comments below as far as questions and I'll answer it there. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this. I will talk about adding this into Home Assistant in the near video. I honestly have to rebuild my Home Assistant. Uh, I, I lost my VM on it. So I will be rebuilding and do videos on that and then I'll do a follow up. So if you want to see that, please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for being a great community. Thank you to Nova Stella for sending these out to me. I'm Joe Farrell Geek Toolkit. Until next time.